Wow, one people, and welcome to the latest episode of Gang on Your Business, where we will be providing you with the latest news and drama in a dance hall. Today's episode we will cover one: Pop Conti's fans with new album news. Two: Babs Cartel's new album True Religion and Quebec Pyramids The Calling album sales. Three: Reunion of classic dancehall duo Brick and Lace. Four: Sky Gets first U.S. Billboard entry. Five: Mr. Lex snaps back at Stoneboy after claims that reggae is for Africa. Six: Congratulations to SZA for a huge milestone reached. Let's get started. Jamaican dancehall artist Pop Con teases fans on Twitter with new album. Don Ruli Boss says that his upcoming album titled Great Is He is ready. The artist shared the big news on his Twitter account on Thursday. Album ready now we know. Hashtag them dead. Hashtag one on Ruli state. We will let you know more as news develops. Vibes Cartel and Kabaka Pyramid Vibes Cartel and Kabaka Pyramid both dropped albums this week, with both projects failing to have an impact on the Billboard reggae charts. Vibes Cartel's album called True Religion only managed 310 streams in the States, whereas Kabaka Pyramid's album did do slightly better, managing 620 units streamed in the first week. So, people and fans of the artists, get out there and support the thing. The Jamaican duo Brick and Lace has been figuring out how to handle their recent popularity boom. Their music has racked up tens of millions of new plays, and their one-shelf debut album, Love is Wicked, was finally released globally after 15 years, albeit without their knowledge. What makes this current revival all the more shocking is that the duo's members, Nyla and Nyanda Thorborn, haven't released much new material for a long time. In fact, Brick and Lace broke up in 2013. With the ever-rising popularity of TikTok, the hook of their 2007 single, Love is Wicked, has moved through the platform, staggering in over a hundred million views. Congratulations, ladies. I say come together for one more run. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section. Skang gets first Billboard number one. Dancehall artist Skang has earned his first entry on the US Billboard charts with the Little Miss remix, a collaboration with rapper Nicki Minaj. Big up Skang, ripping dancehall music in the US Billboard charts. It's a good look. Mr. Lex vs. Stoneboy Dancehall star Mr. Lex is not happy with the recent comments made by Ghanaian artist Stoneboy, who stated that reggae music belongs to Africa and that it doesn't belong to any Caribbean society from its core. Whoa! <laughs> Mr. Lex went on to say, The reason why I think he said it is because from day one, we were taught that we come from Africa. So in my mind, he can think that. He's allowed to feel that way. But it doesn't mean he's correct. The full 100 DJ recently told Ramona Samuels on Rhythm FM's Real Rock. Yes, some Jamaicans have ancestry in Africa, but we took what we had from where we were in our little corner and created what we have, so it's kind of unfair for him to say that. What do you guys think about the controversial remarks made by Stoneboy? Let us know in the comment section. Congratulations to Sizzla! This year marks the 25th anniversary of Sizzla's Black Woman and Child and the 20th anniversary of The Real Thing. 2022 also marks the 25th anniversary of Sizzla's Praise Ja. These three releases are widely considered to be among Sizzla's greatest albums. Guys, hope you had fun and we kept you up to date with the latest news. Be sure to tune in to the next episode of Gang Business. Like, comment and subscribe.